Okay, so today's objective is I'm about to go run this, not a roundabout, but around this little block, not the whole neighborhood, but just this little block right here as fast as I can and see how long it would take me. I think it's supposed to be a mile. I don't know. I'm not positive, but I'm gonna try to run it like as fast as I can, fast as I can and see if I can do it because I might not be able to. Um, I just want to do it just for fun. If I can, great. If I have to stop, I'm gonna be sad, but it is what it is. But this is what I'm doing for my workout this morning. Let's get it. Boy, I don't even think I made it to a mile. And I don't mean sprinting the whole mile. I mean sprint, stop, cool, not cool down. Sprint, stop, rest, sprint, stop, rest. Man, I made it like 0.8 of a mile i am exhausted but it's cool i'm gonna start adding sprints to my workout because everything i've read and all this stuff they said is it helps your long distance runs um so man but i'm i'm dead i'm dead i'm supposed to do strength training today but i ain't doing that shit i'm, I'm done uh i love y'all got my drink my post run drink it's a uh, celery percent. I don't even know how to say the word persimmon, something like that. And um, celery persimmon and grapefruit. Post run drink. It's good. It's good. Right now I'm about to edit some videos and see what else I can get for y'all. Trying to. I told you I'm trying to give y'all as much information as I can before I end up going out to see doing this for y'all okay so today if you read the topic then y'all know i want to talk to y'all about financial literacy now i know this is a merchant marine channel and i really talk mainly talk about what's it like being out to sea being a merchant seaman and things that you need but this is probably the number one thing you do need when you go out there the whole point of you going out to sea getting on these ships is to make money and sad to say a lot of y'all when y'all come out here especially when you come out when you're young 18 19 20 21 22 you know what i'm saying even 23 24 25 i realize a lot of people don't have financial literacy and it's very important when you're coming out here because it gets if you don't have it you tend a lot of times a lot of people tend to get in a bad situation when they start making this much money out here i've seen many guys come out they get on a ship in january and they get off the ship in July, they only made like $4,000. That's all they had in their pocket. And then they're scrambling, trying to make as much overtime they can at the end of the month or right before they leave because they didn't make enough or they made just enough to cover the bills at home, but they didn't really, they didn't really make anything to get ahead. So when they go home, they gotta come right back because they pretty much spending all their money when they're at home. So it is so important, it's imperative to have financial literacy when you coming out to sea. It's because mind you, you're gonna be, especially if you come from nothing like me, I came from pretty much nothing. I was making, what? Uh, I was running a farm fresh, making maybe like two, three, not even three. I think I was making 150, maybe $200 a week working at farm fresh. You know what I'm saying? I was not making any money prior to coming out here, but I always knew how to budget my money properly so I had enough so I can cover whatever minimum bills that I did have. And obviously it did help that I do and did live with my parents. But needless to say, even now, I can move out of my parents' house and still be financially free and I never have to work again. You know what I'm saying? I choose to still live here and we all have an agreement. I pay them, you know what I'm saying? Pay them a little bit. Well, I pay them rent, you know what I'm saying, to stay here but it's still not as much as what it would be if I would move out. And even if I were to move out now, I'd be perfectly fine, but there's still things that I wanna do, which is why I stay here. But I said all that to say this is, when you come out to sea and you start making this money, have a set plan. I said this in my last video, but I'm saying it now. 
financial literacy is very important. There is many times when I talk to some guys out there, and mind you, these will be like, mind you, I'm at the bottom, or I, especially when I first came in, I was at the bottom, and these people have been in for years, ABs, or just able-bodied seamen, or even some officers out there, third mates or third engineers, they would talk to me and I'm like, dude, you don't, you've been sailing for years and you don't have anything, you know what I'm saying? And not, and you don't have an exit plan at all. And some will be like, oh yeah, I just, I'm maxing out my TSP, which is kind of like a 401k for MSC. I maxed out my TSP and um, that's how, that's gonna be my retirement. Which, okay, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? I get it, a lot of people, see the TSP and it is a good tool but that shouldn't be your exit plan you should have set things up to where when you want to leave you're not looking for your next paycheck when you get out of MSC or stop being an emergency seaman. so this video I'm really trying to talk to you guys when you come out here and you start making this money learn to especially in the beginning like I told y'all before if you have any debt or if you have anything you have to take care of, knock all that out first. All that consumer debt, which is your credit card, all the other stuff, knock that out. If you have any loans that you gotta take care of, knock all those out. Not including car loan, because if you can, if you have a car loan and you needed it, you can keep paying it the way you're paying it. But if you have debt that you know you need to take care of, like I said, whether it be personal loans or credit card debt, student loans and stuff like that, knock all those out first. So before anything, before everyone wanted to jump in anything, knock those out first. But yes, it may take you some time and it's gonna, you're gonna have to sacrifice. That's one of those things that you're gonna have to do. And I'm not gonna say there's some get, I don't wanna call it get rich quick screen because I'm not saying I'm rich, but I do, I am very, very comfortable. Like I said, all of 2021, I did not work and I still had money coming in, you know what I'm saying? So it almost was like I didn't miss a beat. So I put it in work to get to this point. Now, I'm not the normal type of person that comes out there. Really, a lot of times you come out to see and you meet people like, I said, some friends that I have, they come out, as soon as they start making money, they go home, they buy their Mercedes, they buy, the expensive watches, they change the whole wardrobe, all that stuff, which is nothing wrong with that. But as I said before, if you really wanna get ahead, don't worry about that stuff. What you need to pay attention to is buying assets, whether it be houses that you plan on renting out, something that can bring you money that you don't have to work for. If you wanna start buying a business, work on that, you know? If you want to become an investor, whether it be stocks or properties or different things, work on that. Don't come out here and just start spending all your money on, like I said, I'm not saying you can't spend your money on clothes and stuff like that. I have clothes, I have shoes, you know what I'm saying? And I have my vices. I used to buy watches like crazy, but whatever money that I did spend, I allowed myself to spend that because it didn't hinder me from being able to buy my first house. So I just wanted to come here and tell you guys that financial literacy is very important, especially when you start coming out to sea and you start making this money. Cause like I said, I know third officers, sometimes even second engineers, they don't have as much money as I do. You know what I'm saying? And mind you, they make twice to maybe three times as much money as I do. But the, when they get home, they spend all their money. The house that they have, all their money goes to that. Or the cars that they have, all their money goes to that. And there's nothing wrong with having cars, a nice house, the, the clothes and stuff like that. But if you don't have anything that's paying for that outside of the nine to five job you have, which obviously we don't have a nine to five, we're merchant Siemens. But in general, if your nine to five job is paying for your luxuries, then you're living life wrong. Now, if your assets are paying for your luxuries, then okay, that makes sense. But don't come out here thinking, oh, I'm making all this money that all your problems are solved. No, yes, you are making pretty decent money and you are living way better than a lot of different people that have regular jobs at home, but you still have things that you have to take care of. 
is just a lot of the small stuff that you felt like, or a lot of stuff that you felt was a big deal, it suddenly became small because you're like, oh, I can take care of these small things now. Now, you now starts the real work. Now you're making the money that you need to be able to take care of the necessities. Now figure out how to take care of like your future. And that's what this video, I just wanna to talk to you guys about because I see time and time again that a lot of guys come out to see, and mind you, I'm seven years in, but I see guys that's been in for 10, 11 years and they don't have an exit plan. They, they this is this typical saying that they always say, oh, once I get this next ship and I get this next promotion, then, then I'll be set. Then I'll be able to do what I want. Then I'll be able to do this. No, you need to be able to set things up to where the next promotion doesn't really matter. Yes, it's great to have another, have more money coming in, but that should just be a tool. Money itself is just a tool to get the things that you need to get to actually become wealthy. Yes, the paycheck I'm getting from MSE is great. It's great, I love it, but it's just a tool. Like, I feel happier making four grand at home from the assets that I bought than making six to seven grand working on the ship. I feel so much more content with that. You know what I'm saying? That was just an excellent uh, example. But like I said, I feel so much more comfortable being able to go home and still making four or five grand, or four grand at home compared to me on the, on the ship making six, 6,500 to almost seven grand, you know? So I know the numbers sound funny to you guys, but once you really start making money passively then you realize this is the funnest game that it's it becomes fun you you're gonna want to go out to sea so you can continue doing the things that you want to do this is a great time to come out to sea because the world is expensive right now but if you do what you're supposed to do if you listen to me in this video and you start setting some money aside making sure you're saving correctly and then taking care of all your debt everything that is just bringing you down financially take care of all of that what you will be able to do coming out to see you'll be able to knock out all that use this tool or not coming in and see become a merchant seaman use that as a tool to get to the next level because remember i know it may seem like becoming a merchant seaman is the goal but no merchant seaman is the tool to get to your goal and if you really want to reach your goals really pay attention to what I said here today. I love y'all. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I didn't mean to take up all your time, but please listen to what I'm saying because this is very important. Financial literacy is very important when coming out to see. I love you.